October 29th, 1924. So she died in 1999. But anyway, but then by the way things worked out, my first wife, Pam and I, we got married. Pam and I got married October 29th, 1977. October 29th, 1977. And Pam died the 11th of March. Eleventh of March, two thousand eight. So I talk about a date of birth or an anniversary, and then I talk about the death. We we'll go back and just say that we got time here. It's all crunching. We'll say the. Uh, October seventeenth. 1958, dated birth my younger brother, Brent, October 25th, 2011 was the wedding day of Tanya and I, is that like Tanya, Tanya, Diane Williams, and, and me, Mark Perkins, married that day. October 25th, right? And October 27th, today's 27th, of 1956, my first wife Sam was born. October 29th, of 1924, is the date my mother was born. And October 29th, of 1977, was the wedding day of Pam and I. The wife and Pam wedding day. I have showed you in previous videos, in several videos, a lot of my family photos. If you go back and look at the other video, you see the picture of my younger brother Brent, and my mother, and my first wife Pam, and my second wife Tanya. That's all the people involved. But it's just that. I thought I'd mention that. I was going to actually get out a whiteboard. I put a whiteboard up. Where's my hands here? You know, I have all that written, but I, I thought <sighs> I planned out that idea of that um, video just to rehash all that because I figured, well, it's October. October's got a lot of anniversaries of birthdays and some anniversary days in October. So I was going to do a video dedicated to just that. And then when I was crushing these cans, I thought, I'm going to do a video crushing cans. And after I started crushing the cans, at that point I realized, hey oh, Mark, while you're crushing cans, I could go ahead and say all that. Because I already rehashed a lot of those things before. But all that. And then now the next video, on the on the last video before this, I said, oh, my next video is going to be looking at the extra food I have sitting across the cook. But instead, like I say, I thought, oh, I can just crank one out quick, just turn the camera on while I'm crushing cans. And I say, after I start crushing cans, I said, wait a minute, as soon as this time you watch crush cans, <laughs> you can hear me ramble on about October, October this, October that, October this, October that. By the way, there's a song, oh my gosh, like I say, my second wife Tanya died whew, on the 10th of March, 2022, so this was well over a year and a half after that, but I still, I found that sort of, I'm, I'm whew, you could say I'm damaged, but I'm, you know, I'm clever. Humans are clever. That's why we named ourselves Homo sapiens sapiens. Sapiens means clever. So we said, look, us humans, we're clever. We're just clever. We're, we're clever on top of clever. We're just, yeah, sapien on top of sapien. Anyway, but, um, whew, but I, uh, I can't 
thing across. Uh oh, it was ten o'clock. The um, uh, what was it I was going to say something about? talk about Barry Manilow. Okay. Barry Manilow did a song called An October Go. That's what I was going to say. Nowadays, nowadays, something, a sad song, sometimes it's too sad for me. It makes me feel on sad, right? Follow me? Sometimes a sad song makes me a little too sad. It's like Halloween stuff. I don't want dead people. I was in my father's hospital room when he died. My second, my Tanya died right in the living room. I'm in the, I'm in the spare room now. The hand truck is off in the, in the guest room. But damn it, I don't like guests. So all this Halloween stuff, <laughs> it's a skeleton. Do I like, no, I don't like Halloween stuff. Anymore. I know, oh, it's just a joke. To me, it's not very funny, you know. I can tolerate some of it. But I don't really like Halloween, 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 Halloween. Do I do that? Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a pretty good show. Kind of enjoyed that um, I don't like stuff, things that are supposed to be scary. Anyway, but Gray and I did a song called When October Goes. I just said all that about October, right? This shows all the dates with people. So I'm just saying, for fun, you might want to go to you know, YouTube and watch all your all favorite songs on YouTube. So go to YouTube and find Barry Manilow. When October goes, when October goes, G O E S goes, right? It is, it is bittersweet. It's the way some songs are, they're bittersweet. That song is maybe almost too bitter and almost too sweet. It's just, I like it. Okay, so you might go check that out. In other words, you look at goofy old Uncle Mark here, silly old Uncle Mark, talking about, oh, October, October, October. You know, brings a lot of memories, a little bit of sadness. And then you listen to Barry Manilow when October goes, and that makes it too rough. I'm doing, I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. If you want to go into something that's a little more bitter, more depressing, but also sweet at the same time, put in that song. That was my train of thought when I got back. I don't have see now, see now the minute. I got it back. <laughs> But it's very mellow when October goes. Man, that's, oh, that's well done, well done, well done, thing. By the way, if you see my face, I'm going to shave again. See, I was going to shave before I make the video, but then watching that, um, watching that Midwest Magic Queen, it didn't really show his face. He showed, he showed, he showed what he's doing. I really enjoy the Midwest, and it's not just me. He's got, he's about to get like a million subscribers. But, he's just clean. Clean, right? You see, my brother in law, Carol Williams, is Williams Lawn and Property Company. He does what you might call a trash out. He makes all the trash out. And this other guy, <clears throat> then this other guy, a Midwest Magic Queen, and he, his, he cleans. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, well, you guys know the drill, you know. Let me go. Let 